Hey everyone, it's Justin here with LethbridgeRealEstate.com. It's Friday, June 21st, and we're doing our market update. I am back from Hawaii and working. Um, so let's get right into it here. Um, I did have a few people asking me about, well, should we be counting the average of the listings? And I'll talk a little bit about that. I guess we can go back to our uh, junior high, high school math and talk about uh, the mean, the median, and the mode. And I can explain why I think that's Probably not the best way to go, but hey, let's dive into it and we'll, we'll talk a little bit more about that at the end. So um, when we look at it right away, we had 65 new listings this week. Um, the average price, I'll do average for now and we'll talk about that later, uh, was 344,000. Again, you can see there's some 45,000s of 1.1 million. Um, so that's our, our new ones for the week. Uh, and then we had... I believe it was pretty good. 38 conditionals and 46 that went sold final. So again, was that 84 um, that are off the market or coming off the market and 65 new listings. So that's good. It's nice to see more sales than um, new listings. But again, those conditionals, um, you know, you never know if those are all going to go final. So let's take a look at the conditionals and see what has sold this week. Uh, so there was, uh, like I said, 38, 300, almost $308,000 on the average uh, for $11.7 million worth of real estate that has offers on it right now. Uh, pretty nice because I remember last week it was a little higher, right? So uh, it didn't dip way down to the 250s or anything like that, which is nice. And uh, the solds now should be a bunch of those conditionals that went final. Um, we should see that price, you know, okay, there you go, 280. So there, that's the ones that sold final this week was the more in the 280s. Um, and if we look at... I think we looked at kind of the, the median, let's say. Um, there should be a bunch in the, yeah, 250s, 280s, uh, 280, 290s, 300s. But there was a bunch from that 300 to 400 range. So that's a nice thing to see right there that there's, you know, 15 or so that have gone in that, that price range. Uh, so pretty nice. Uh, and again, this week, there was a couple that took theirs off the market. There was uh, 20 that canceled them and 10 that have uh, expired and they might relist right away. You never know with those ones. Um, so when we were talking about the, the mean, median, and mode, I, I did some uh, math for us all here. So um, just because I want to show that it doesn't matter which math you use, the, the market is going up, right? So in 2017, the median was 275. You can see the average is 285. The mode was 300. Mode, if you remember, it was just the most amount of times that something happened in a series of numbers. So maybe there was 12 that sold for exactly $300,000 and that was the most. Um, so really hard to do when you're talking about zero to $3 million and random prices in the middle there. So I wouldn't worry about mode too much. Uh, the median in 2018 was 276 and then it was 282. And you can see all the numbers went up. So the average was 285, then 287, then 293. The median was 275, 276, 282. So you're still up 2% over the years uh, between 2018 and 2019. So um, just something that I wanted to chat about because there were people that were asking us. So if you're getting advice saying, oh, well, the market's way down and you're down 30,000. Oh, did you buy in the boom? You're way down. We have seen that boom prices in certain areas are above where they were right now. Or right now they're above where they were in the boom. So if you're being told, don't sell uh, or you have to sell for $20,000, $30,000 less, please call us for a second opinion. I'll do a market analysis on just your house. And that's what's really important. When we talk about averages and medians, uh, it doesn't matter. What really matters is what happened in your neighborhood, what improvements have you done, what price ranges should we be looking at in yours. And when we're talking about doing a price reduction on a home, that's not an indication that the market is down. That's an adjustment in marketing. So I had someone ask me about that too. Well, I see there was a price reduction. So does that mean the market's down $10,000? No, a person could start at 379,900 saying, hey, let's, we, we think it's worth that 360 to 370 range. Let's start a little higher. Let's see if we can get you some more money. And after two or three weeks at the price, you know, if no one has bought the home, then we'll just drop the price 374.9. That's part of your marketing package is making sure that we're getting the most amount of money by starting at the highest and working your way down until the market decides, oh, you know what? 374.9, that's pretty good. Maybe a week or two goes by, a buyer comes in and says, I'll give you a 360, and you say, no, 372, and you work your way up to you find that 370, 368 number that you've look, been looking for. So uh, anyway, uh, if someone's telling you the market sucks and they said, you know, you're way down in prices, don't listen to them. Uh, we'll, we'll give you a second opinion on it, and we'll show you the exact numbers, and we'll go over it exactly like on the screen here where you will pick 
your listing, your prices, uh, area, whatever, you know, if, if this one's a little better than yours or a little worse than yours, we'll, we'll take those into account. I won't tell you, oh, this is the exact price you should list for. We'll work as a team together to figure out what is the market price. So anyway, that's it. That's my little rant for the week because I've been getting pushed back on average and median and blah, blah, blah. Uh, you, you can see it's still 2% up. So uh, pretty good. And that's year over year from, uh, January 1 to the, tw uh, the 20th, so for yesterday's number. So anyway, if you have any questions, visit us online at viewlethbridge.com. Send us a message here, uh, whatever you want to do, and we will uh, help you get your home sold. Or we'll do this on the buyer side as well and help you do an analysis on the neighborhood and see what you should be buying those homes for if you're getting a good price or not. All right, that's it for me. Have a great week. We'll talk to you soon. Bye.